Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I am using Builder in a Bottle Crystal Clear, Fiber Gel Soft White by Nail, Come Nail Sugars Lavender Lights, Opal Confetti, all the micro milers which I'll list down below for you. So I'm doing my daughter's nails since, um, yeah, we're all in isolation. <laughs> so um, I'm getting a chance to do her nails on camera. So I've already taken off her pass set, done all the nail prep, and now I'm going in with a thin clear base with the builder in a bottle. I hope that you're all managing and not going absolutely crazy with not being able to go out anywhere. I've just been watching lots of films and doing artwork with the kids and obviously I've got my kids home so I'm having to do um, some school work with them. But we've been watching lots of Disney stuff. So now I've done that and I've cured it, I'm going to go in with the soft white fibre gel. And I'm going to do a couple of coats of that just to build it up. But we're keeping it quite thin because we are going to be adding some glitter on. I just want to give it a kind of white background. So what kind of stuff have you been doing? Have you been watching movies, taking walks, that kind of stuff? This is the first time I've used this fibre gel. Um, it behaves kind of like there's fluff in the gel, which is basically there's, there's fibres in the gel, so it will behave like that, which is a bit strange. But yeah. goes on nicely. My daughter always has gel on her nails. She prefers that to acrylic. And as you can see, her natural nails have been growing. I really enjoy using the Nilkami's Builder in a Bottle. So once we've done that, I've cured it for 30 seconds and going back in with another layer to make it a bit more opaque. Doesn't need to be perfect because I'm putting glitter over this so it'll be fine. Just using my finger with a glove on um, just to wipe underneath because sometimes it's going underneath just because of the fibres. Um, so when it does that, I just wipe underneath with my finger, but don't do that with your skin because it could cause some irritation and allergies.
just faffing about. <laughs> Once that's all cured, I'm then going to start adding the opal confetti and I'm using my double-ended nail commit brush. I'm just going to put a really thin layer, very, very thin layer of the clear builder in a bottle. So I'm just going to use my brush and pick some of that glitter up and just put it where I want it. Just moving it across the nail wherever, just dabbing it. remembering and trying to keep this as thin as possible. I'm just picking up all the wee tiny bits there and just filling in those gaps. So pretty this glitter. I think I actually have a, a glitter addiction, especially iridescent. I think that's my thing. That and holographic, I love. But iridescent's always been my favourite thing ever since I was a wee girl. Kind of reminds me of unicorns and mermaids. <laughs> my favourite movie when I was a wee girl was The Little Mermaid. Hands down my favourite. So I'm just doing a glitter fade on this finger. And then I'm going to take the lavender lights. Just putting my thin layer of the clear builder on just enough to grab the product. Just taking a, a load of that and I'm going to start patting that into the wet gel. Same on the thumb. Just getting a bit more just to fill in just that. Tip a bit more. 
like it just patting it all in. Then I'm just, once I've cured that, I'm just brushing off excess. I'm going to do another extremely thin layer of the clear. I just wanted to keep this as thin as possible. I will be adding um, a clear structure layer, which it won't be massive anyway because they're not extremely long, so you don't need a massive apex, but just to give it a bit of structure and support and to encapsulate all that glitter in. And as you can see, it's definitely cured onto that nail, even with that very, very fine layer of clear gel. So I'm going to take the micro milers again and I'm going to place that on the nails. This is going to give it a wee bit of depth as well. I just absolutely love these micro milers. They're my favourite thing. And I know I keep using them in everything, <laughs> but I love them. I can't help it. And it just looks so beautiful on this. Again, just adding a slight amount onto this one, just to give a bit more depth as well. Remembering that I've done a glitter fade on this, so I don't want to cover the whole nail. I'm covering the whole nail on the rest of them. Just enough to add something to the nail, but not to overtake the confetti that's in the, the first layer of glitter. There we go. So in two nails, I'm just going to show you me encapsulating. So I've put my slip layer down and then I'm just going to take a bead and put that down the nail, make sure that it's in the centre. Then I turn the hand upside down and then cure that. And if you were doing this on a client, you do one finger on one hand then switch to the other hand and back and forth. Adding that again, bring that right down to the tip, making sure that I've covered the whole of the nail. So I've went on and done that on all the nails and I've encapsulated. So now I'm going to top coat and this is just so amazing because I'm using holographic top coat as well. And it's just, oh my god, look at it! Oh, it brings me so much joy, I can't even tell you. This top coat is amazing. holographic and iridescent all in one nail it's just oh my goodness look at it it's just it's like a unicorn dream so we didn't add anything else to these because I thought they were just stunning just the way they were without anything else to take away from it because there is quite a bit of glitter and sparkle so and yes I caught her, her thumb she's got skin like paper <laughs> not focusing but it's still showing you all the sparkle so that's it i hope that this has been a good distraction and you've enjoyed this video if you have please consider subscribing give me a wee thumbs up and yeah i'll see you again on the next one and i hope you're all well sending lots of love to you all please take care and stay safe stay at home thank you very much stay creative <laughs>